I now give the floor to Amina Abrahamian from the Assembly of Armenians of Western Armenia. You have the floor. Thank you, Chair. I'd like to congratulate you on your election. For many decades, we have all worked together, devoting days and nights in order to ensure the adoption of the declaration in 2007, a date and declaration that should be enshrined in snow, reflecting the change in views of governments vis-a-vis -vis indigenous persons. They have a right to their nationality, land, territories, and traditional resources. We could have hoped and that that would be an end to the destruction of uh, destruction of genetic resources, discriminations, but we have not only the right to live, but the right to exist as ourselves in this ideal world that we're defending all and that's why we're here and we should recall article 38 nevertheless in july of last year here i condemned the blockade and hostage taking of many armenians by azeri armed forces and the genocide intentions of the Azeri forces vis-a-vis -vis Armenians in Karabakh had to choose between exodus or massacres. Following uh, these events, the in genocide intentions were transferred to the crime of genocide leading to the ethnic cleansing of Armenians, uh, recalling what happened during the years 1914-1923. Regardless, this country that violated the UN Charter is still a member of this well respective institutions. We sent several complaints to UN Secretary General and to special rapporteurs. I sent two reports. They can are available online without any response. So I addressed the judiciary, especially the European Court on Human Rights, in order to ensure that justice is done. <laughs> I call upon the United Nations to condemn the genocide committed against indigenous peoples to be stronger in its combat against terrorism, um, ensuring that uh, due attention is given to the complaints raised by indigenous peoples and to take immediate measures to hold Azerbaijan responsible for this aggression. You all here were witnesses of my complaint and also you saw the ethnic uh, cleansing of my population in Asnach and we have seen the systemic discrimination of our centuries old heritage, the removal of any existential trace of the Armenian population in these lands and to show our determination, these horrible atrocities, ethnic cleanses, the illegal appropriation of lands, territories and resources carried out by Azerbaijan against the ethnic Armenians will not destroy the right of Armenians to live in peace and to practice their own faith, to follow their own customs and speak their own language. Thank you very much. Thank you for your statement. I now give the floor to Melanie Pimentel from the ILO.